How boredom can be good for you. Nowadays, there is considerably more to keep us busy than ever before. We can text, check social media, or even watch movies while commuting to work. We fill our weekends with an increasing variety of entertainment options. We are already overstimulated, but we need even more stimulus. We get bored if we don't have it. Boredom was uncommon just a few generations ago. Since the duties required for daily living left people with little to no downtime. While it is easy to identify examples of how boredom can induce negative emotions, such as despair, researchers sought to see if there were any beneficial outcomes to being bored. People in the study were assigned to execute a boring job, like sorting a dish of legumes by color. The bored group outperformed the control group, which had previously participated in an interesting craft activity. In terms of ideas and quality, the board group consistently surpassed the crafters. Boredom, according to the study, might boost productivity and creativity. Boredom can have positive effects, according to Sandy Mann, a senior psychology lecturer at Central Lancashire University and author of The Upside of Downtime, Why Boredom is Good. Mann's book examines the causes and effects of boredom in the fast-paced 21st century. She describes how we act, react, and cope when we're bored, and she urges people to embrace boredom. Unplugging is crucial. We are attempting to swipe and scroll the boredom away, but in doing so, we are making ourselves more prone to boredom. Every time we get our phone out, we are not letting our thoughts roam and solve our boredom problems. So, instead of scrolling your time away while waiting in line at the store, or on the bus, allow yourself to be bored and get the advantages. But, let's not forget to support our channel by leaving a like right now and smashing the subscribe button. Enjoy! Boredom inspires creativity. According to research, when we are bored and looking for stimulation but can't find it, we make it up. That is the definition of daydreaming. How many inventions have been made by those who simply had the time to think? So, turn off the phone and let your imagination run wild. Boredom encourages you to think about yourself. Boredom-prone people are more likely to reflect on their own lives. Boredom allows you to sit and ponder on your current situation and self-reflection is often the catalyst for making significant adjustments and improvements in your life. Your mind gets to slow down. On a long train ride, boredom is one of the best ways for you to take in your surroundings. Nature delivers stimulation that doesn't require you to concentrate, allowing your brain to rest. It's even better to be in nature. Boredom can help you become a better person. Boredom, according to Irish research, can make you charitable. That's because when we are bored, we lack perceived meaning. So, we look for ways to re-establish the worth of our lives elsewhere. This motivates us to engage in pro-social acts such as blood donation or charitable donations. Boredom is beneficial to your mental health. Mann argues in her book that daydreaming while bored gives an escape from daily life and all of its stresses. Stepping away from all of the devices that are a part of our job and daily life can provide a mental respite and your mental health will benefit as a result. If you like this video and would like to hear more, be sure to press the subscribe button.